Let's meet one of the creative geniuses who helped put all this stuff together, the infamous Sam Gefelda fish, Joe Tui. Quick-witted, artistic, innovative, loyal to a fault, but most of all, a friend like no other. Now, you may think that this is a strange place for a person to be, but there were, there were occasions when this is where I would wind up, and it may not look like it, but I would be at that time directing the Patches show. <laughs> but it, yeah, right. It is a, but a, little, a little difficult to roll a cartoon or a commercial or get to another camera from this position, especially when one was laughing so hard. Joe directed the J.P. Patches show for 23 years, but he wasn't always behind the scenes. Not at all. Uh, you don't have to keep saluting all the time. Just uh, once in the morning and once in the evening is fine. Uh, okay, Sam Gafola, uh, oh, my, 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 my famous director. As, as your director, I think... I'm Here he is as his alter ego, Sam Gafola, fish, the tyrannical director. There we go. Solid. Okay. Now, I want you, I'll introduce you. Uh -huh. You have to go outside and then with... All sorts of dignity. I'm sorry. Wait, Sam. It might be raining inside. outside. I don't want to get wet. It might be well, raining. Well, here, take my umbrella. Oh. Remember, dignity. Okay. Dignity. Yeah. All right, there yeah. we go. Now, Just open oh. this up there, and I'll go outside. Dignity. All right, boys and girls, we're glad that you were able to come to see the cartoon theater today. And here is your host from the J.P. Patches program is J.P. Patches. Now, let's have a nice round of applause. Dignify yourself. Yeah. Yeah. What I, why, didn't you, why don't you take that bucket and put it someplace where it's not going to bother you? Yeah, someplace that bucket where it's not... has it's been just trouble, trouble, trouble. Now, if you just take that bucket and you're going to put it someplace where it's not going to be any trouble, you can do this thing and you can have dignity. But you've got to be... It's not going to bother me there, Sam. Goodbye. <laughs> Joe's guest appearances included J.P.'s evil brother, I Am Rags. And I thought I'd just drop in, maybe pick a few pockets, you know, beat somebody up or something. See that hapless guy in the phone booth? The one getting squashed by Super Clown? Well, that's another one of Joe's thankless roles. And I wonder, how did he end up in Super Clown's underwear? Joe hit the big time when he got his own show, starring as the ghoulish vampire with his weird laugh, a nightmare theater. He became well known as the scary, the blood-sucking, the evil, the campy, the kooky, the count. <laughs> it feels so good to be out again. So good to be back. <laughs> Joe applied the same amount of gusto to his personal life as his family and friends would agree. Joe will always be remembered because his spirit lives on. <laughs>